Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we're going to be making some cards with the new Reveal Wheel Puffy Cloud add-on. This add-on die has a die that cuts out the cloud for a Reveal Wheel, a stitched frame that's the cloud, and a very thin cloud frame. So for my first card here, I'm going to be doing some inking to create my little scene. I've cut a piece of white cardstock with the bottom of that Reveal Wheel die, and I've also cut out the panel with the cloud. I'm going to be using the car critter stamp set. I've already stamped out that car with those little critters and colored them. So I'm just going to place this here so I can figure out where to die cut my grassy hill that my car is going to go on. I'm just centering that car up, figuring out where that hill needs to be. And I'm just going to hold it in place with some tape and run that through my die cut machine. Now I'm going to do some ink blending on both of these pieces that are die cut and I'm starting with some tumble glass and just doing a light layer of tumble glass all along this back panel. This is going to be my blue sky. And I'm just making sure I have pulled it down far enough to where the bottom is going to get covered up with that grass. Then I'm going to go in with some salty ocean and just do around the edges and darken it up a little bit. I feel like darkening the edges like this with ink really gives some dimension to the panel. Now I'm going to work on the ground for this little car and I'm going to be inking a road and some grass. So I'm just marking a little tick mark with my ruler centered up using the centering part of my ruler along the bottom so that it's even on both sides. And then I'm going to use some post-it note tape to go from that little mark that I made on the bottom there at an angle up towards where my car is going to be on the top. So I'm going to create a diagonal line that's going to be the edge of my road and my grass. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side using a piece of post-it note tape. So this is going to mask off the part that I want to be grass and I'm going to ink the road part first which is going to be brown in the center there for that little car to drive on. So I'm starting with some tea dye ink and I'm just going to put a layer of this all over the space that I've masked off. And then I'm going to go in with some vintage photo to darken it up. Now I don't really care what that grass looks like at the top because that's going to get completely covered up by the car so I don't really need to worry about the fact that I'm making brown grass. Then I'm going to go in with some brown watercolor and just add some dark flecks to this dirt road. So now that I have this road looking the way I want I can peel off those post-it note tape pieces and you can see I've got that nice sharp edge. So I'm going to go in with some new clean pieces of tape and I'm going to mask it off in the other direction. So I'm going to mask off the edge of the road, make sure that my watercolor splatters I had on there were nice and dry before I put that tape on there. And now I'm going to do the green grass on each side. So I'm going to start with Twisted Citron, which is the lighter of the two greens that I'm going to use. I'm just going to add that all over the white part that you see there. And then next I can go in with some mowed lawn and it is a little bit darker and I'm just going to put it on the top there where those blades of grass are. So they are darkened up and they really stand out. So now that I have my grass the way I want it, I can peel those off and now I have my road and my grass all on one piece. Now to do the stamping in the cloud. There are two Puffy Cloud Reveal Wheel templates that are available for this Puffy Cloud add-on. This one stamps four clouds and the other one stamps three, which I'll show you in my next card. And for this one, I wanted to put a sentiment that scrolled through the cloud. So I'm using the sentiment, I'd be lost without you, that comes with the Car Critter stamp set. I'm just going to selectively ink up the words as I work my way around the wheel. I'm also using a piece of post-it note tape 
to mask off those words as I ink them so that I can get the words in the middle inked. And this is just an easy way to selectively ink a sentiment like this. And this way you don't have to cut your stamp apart to try and separate out those words. So now that that sentiment is stamped in there, I can add my reveal wheel to the base. So I'm taking that small wheel and I'm putting the brad through the back side. Then I'm going to feed it through the front and I'm actually leaving my template on here just as an easy guide so that I can line up this cloud perfectly. Just because I've got these words and I want to make sure they're straight and so I'm just going to use the template as a guide for my opening as well. I'm going to put three little foam squares on that small circle that's on the back. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the liner paper off of those. And then I can use that template as a guide to make sure that my cloud is perfectly lined up. You can also use the score lines that the wheel cuts. And now I can line it up perfectly with that back panel that I cut that is a solid panel without the cloud cut out of it. And once I have that in place, I can close my brad back up and easily pull off that template. And then I'll just open it back up and the wheel is in the right placement. I'm going to continue to finish decorating this front panel here. I'm going to add that grass and road that we created to the bottom. And then I'm using the stitched frame that comes with this add-on to go around this cloud on this card. I'm going to pop up the little car with those bears in it with some foam squares so that it pops up off that background a little bit. making sure it's centered in my road and that it covers up that brown grass in the background. And then I've got some of the Simply Puffy Cloud frames here that I've cut. And I'm just going to kind of scatter those around to fill up the sky a little bit. And I'm going to have them go off the side of the panel and I'll just trim those off. So this just fills up that blue sky but with some open frame clouds so that you don't cover up all that pretty blue that we created. So once I have all those in place, I'm just using my scissors to trim off the part that overhangs the side of my panel. I decided to add some of the little music notes that come in this stamp set around my car because I'm sure they're listening to the radio on this road trip that they're on. And then now I can finish assembling my reveal wheel. So I've put my foam squares all around on that back panel. And then I'm just going to lay my front panel right on top, lining it up. And you can see how perfectly that wheel spins. And now I can add the whole thing to a card base. So I'm using a craft colored card base here. And I'm just going to add some liquid glue to the back and center that up onto that card base. Finally, I'm going to stamp the arrow to tell you which way to turn. And I'm using the arrow from the circle sentiment set because it's going to tell us to turn it in the right direction for a sentiment to scroll through that cloud properly. And then there is that finished card. So for my second card, I'm going to drop that little cloud back into my reveal wheel die. And I'm going to cut this from some yellow spiffy speckles paper. And this is going to be my background for my little scene for this card. I'm using the template that has three clouds for this card. And just one little tip I wanted to say, always make sure your clouds are oriented the right way. So make sure your template is flipped the right direction. If you have it flipped with the front side down, your cloud's actually not going to line up. 
Um, we're going to stamp the little smileys in these clouds from the All the Clouds stamp set. And I've picked out three of those. I'm just going to stamp those using the template. And then I'm also going to stamp the little rosy cheeks on two of them using the rosy cheeks stamp and using some peachy keen ink. I decided to leave the cheeks off the one with sunglasses because the sunglasses were big and kind of filled the whole cloud. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this reveal wheel and I'm doing the same thing with this one. Leaving my template on so I can make sure it's lined up. So I'm just feeding that brad through the small circle and then through the big circle, adding three foam squares. And then I'm using my template to line it up. And again, you can use the score lines on the circle. This is just the way I like to do it. I'm gonna hold that in place and then I'm just gonna line it up with this back panel. And I've cut the back panel from some guava cardstock because I plan on using a guava colored card base and this will kind of make it disappear. So now that that's in place, I'm just going to close my brad back up so I can pull off the tape and pull off that template. So now I'm going to work on the elements on the front of my card. I'm going to be stamping out Sending Smiles, and this sentiment is from the All the Clouds stamp set. I have some Rainforest cardstock cut with that Reveal Wheel panel die. I've put some anti-static powder on there, then I stamped my sentiment with clear ink, and now I'm adding some white embossing powder, and I'm just going to heat that up with my heat tool till it's all nice and melted and bright white. Now I'm going to use the wavy border dies to cut some waves in three different colors of cardstock. So I'm cutting it in that Rainforest cardstock first, and I stamped my sentiment so I could get the placement of the wave perfect. Next, I'm going to cut it out of some peacock cardstock. And then finally, the very back one is going to be out of some mermaid cardstock. I'm also using some peach fuzz ink to darken up the edges of this Spiffy Speckles panel that I cut earlier, just to kind of give that glowy yellow orange sunset sky that I want. And then now I can take all those layers of waves that I cut, and I'm just going to layer them together. And then this is going to go on the bottom of this yellow panel. So on this card, I'm using that really thin cloud frame that comes with the Reveal Wheel Puffy Cloud add-on. And I've cut it out of some Pixie Dust cardstock, so that sparkly cardstock. And I've just put a little bit of liquid glue and I'm adding that to my opening that frames it up with some shimmer. So next I'm going to add the images that I've already cut out and colored from the Smooth Sailing stamp set. So I've stamped out both of the sailboats in this set and colored them. I've also decorated their sails with some of the small stamps in the set. And I'm just going to glue those down and tuck them behind these waves that I cut out of cardstock. Then I'm going to add the cute little bear and the cute little rabbit to these boats. And then finally I'm going to add a bunch of these clouds that also come from that smooth sailing stamp set which I've stamped out in some mermaid ink and then die cut them. So I've put my little foam squares all over this back, pulled off their liner pieces, and now I can line the two panels up so that my reveal wheel is in the perfect placement. And now I'm going to add this whole thing to a guava card base that I've created. So you can see how that guava I used for the back panel is going to disappear because of the card base color. So finally, I'm going to add the arrow to tell you to spin that little wheel. And I've used the die cut arrow for this particular card. You could also stamp it. And then finally, I'm adding some stardust stickles to the little heart that I stamped on the sailboat. And also just some dots scattered around in the sky. 
And then this card is all finished. And I just think that those little faces scrolling through that cloud are just too cute. And just add a special interactive element to this scene. Let's take a look at a couple other examples. This is a card by Mindy that has that cute little dragon and also a smiley cloud. And then Elise created this fun reveal wheel using that cloud in a different way with some sentiments that scroll through it. And then Megan made this really amazing card where she halved her card in half and colored it in gray tones on one side and colors on the other. And I just love the effect that it created. It is so cool. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.